Okay, so I wanted to do this uh, mod for some time, and um, especially in the beginning when I didn't have a yeah a disk drive or any games at all or any programs, and I had to type them in manually. And I was thinking it can't be that hard to get audio into the tape because there are operational amplifiers in there. So that's what I've done, and it still loads tape. So. Um, I don't think I have done any harm to it. And speaking of harm, this one is very beaten up, so. And you can see the crack there. And I also have, uh, as you can see, my original one. And the one for the bread bin. So, yeah. So this is my MP3 player. It's a Sony Walkman, nothing fancy. And I found that uh, if I convert so-called tap files into audio files then um, then I can if I use mp4 and triangle wave uh, I get good results and I need to have uh, m medium volume so I guess you have to experiment with that to make that work so for you so uh, let's look at the schematic and uh, when it comes to schematics for these drives that's a chapter in itself. Right, so I am at uh, something called Simmers.net and uh, that's a very good site for Commodore schematics and information in general. And when it comes to the data set, then it becomes uh, difficult. The data set uh, has so many versions of it, I don't really know why, but um, let's look at that. So let's go down on the tree here to schematics, and you have the data set. And uh, as you can see, there are uh, many different types. So the one I got is MP090. Actually, it's version 2, but that's okay. And uh, what I found here is um, when I look at the schematics, okay. Oh, it's nice schematic, but it says IC1, it has four operational amplifiers in one IC. And uh, that uh, is not correct because when you look at the parts list here, you can see there's two ICs and there's uh, only two amplifiers in each. So. And uh, this is the one that I have, and I'm not going to go deep into that, so for now um, let's just look at this schematic, and if you have another cassette player, the, the, ID, is, is the, the ID is the same now for this uh, modification. So uh, what I have done here is uh, to hook up here actually. And why? Uh, well, <laughs> I have put uh, the ground wire on here. Wait a moment. Actually, it's here. Yeah, because I connected to the ground plane. I thought it was here, but I see it's something different down here. So, no, it was there. On, a, on the ground plane. And I will show you a picture. Anyway. And uh, I connected here, and because um, when this uh, coil is not reading anything from the type, then uh, there should be the same potential here and here. So if I can apply a signal here, even though it's very small, it will uh, make it uh, go above and below the level that is down here. And that will result in a change on the output, which in turn will then be amplified and then limited, as you can see here. And finally, the um, two inverters here will then make a square wave out of a analog signal. So, um, and also this design is for. Um, takes care of uh, signals that are they have different volume 
And uh, here you can see the, what I've done, and uh, this is just temporary, I have 100k ohm, and here I want to have the hole, and there you can see the connector, put in the hole, that's the jack for earphones, and there you can see where I've connected it, and that's, um, that's the 100k connected to, let's see, pin 6 of that IC but I have uh, connected it on a trace below there but it's the same uh, same uh, trace though so uh, no problems there and you can see it runs out so let's see if it still loads okay shift press play on tape oh, the tape runs come on turbo tape let's see if it loads it Okay, so uh, just load the first game and see what happens. That works. Okay, connected up my Walkman to the cassette player here and let's try and attempt to do this so have to, but have to press play and then we have to find the recording Now we have to be quick to press the space bar. Now it's playing something else, I have to stop it or batteries run out. Okay, so that worked great. I had to convert to MP4 files to make this work. I couldn't do uh, MP3 for some reason, and I used triangle waves. And I did the experiment with inverse uh, signal and normal signal, and normal signal was okay. Just a quick note before I close this video, and uh, that is uh, how I converted the file. So, first of all, we need the uh, audio tab. I use was uh, convert from tab file to sa to wave file, and uh, I use triangle wave here. And just press OK and find the tab file you want to convert, and uh, and then choose the name of the wave file you want to create. So just. Right, Cobra. Uh, I will show you something here. I did the uh, experiment with uh, something uh, earlier today. And uh, I did poke around on the mod on the board on the com data set. And uh, instead of sending sound to the tape drive, I took 
sound from the cassette and back to the computer we had a microphone and recorded it in, in a program called Audacity and used um, let me show you audio tab as I showed you but you can also create a tab file from sound or wave. So I created a wave from the tape and then converted it and it works. I did have to uh, ramp up the audio though because the signal was so small. But anyway, what I got there was uh, this file and that's actually the waveform recording. And if I double click that now, check that out. <laughs> That's from the tape and now I have it in the emulator. But uh, then I thought, okay, maybe I can uh, do the same for um, for the turbo tape games. There you can see, I have turbo tape and with of war. So let's slow that instead. So you double click that and the computer restarts. And press F1 and then it wants you to do this five two five nine eight. Sorry, I'm gonna focus there. Okay, and it loads because I recorded or <laughs> emulated recording with the save. You can see here save, and I, then I save the the next tracks there, the blocks, uh, the whistle of war. But the problem is, when I save it, I only get only a few lines, so when I run it now, it's uh, nothing. Okay, so I couldn't get that to work, so um, I'll have to experiment some more, it was fun, but uh, anyway. All the games I got from the seller on this TurboTech cassette, I guess they are all on the archives on the internet, so okay. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time!